histories. We have a lot of family histories. Um, they come in different formats. Some of them are handwritten. Some of them are just run off. Some of them are just compilations of printouts from online resources. I mean, some are tough to use. Some are beautifully bound. We just received one a couple of weeks ago from an attorney who used to be a state senator, who used to be a federal representative. This thing is 800 some pages, beautifully bound and indexed. This is amazing. This guy must have you know, spent a million dollars printing this thing. <laughs> if you're interested in his family, there's where you're gonna go. <laughs> So we have family histories, and we, in the collection, I'm going to show you how we catalog all this stuff as well. We keep family histories kind of separate. We encourage, I would like as people give us family histories if they would give me an electronic copy, because you know yourself, in this day and age, nobody's handwriting much anymore. They're doing it on a computer somewhere. If you give me those electronic copies, we can make those available online. You know, it's hard when I have just print, because you know you know yourself, tracing your family, would you have loved to find some small library that had your great-great-grandfather's history back to the dawn of time, that somebody, some distant relative did? I'd like to get some of that stuff digitized and online, but I need to get permission from families when they donate those things to make that public. So if you know people who are giving family histories, or you plan on giving a family history of your own at some point, Give us the permission to make it digital and share it so that somebody else doesn't have to do all the late work that you did. You know, we're standing on the shoulder of giants here. They can build on the work that you did. 